My name is Jonathan Hicks and we're finding the midpoint. Now this is the midpoint between two points typically. Sometimes it can be asked in terms of the midpoint of a line. I'm going to show you how to do both of those but before we start we need to set up axes so give me a second to draw those and then we'll go through it. All right here's our set of axes and I've stuck a couple of points on here. So we've got one point here the coordinates underneath at one comma two and this one here is at 5, 4. Now, if they give you a line instead of two points, so imagine we've got a line that connects these two points together, then the first thing you need to do is just work out what the coordinates of the ends of the line are. Either way, you need the coordinates. The method you use to find the midpoint is always based on the coordinates. So find the coordinates first if you haven't been given them. Now, we want the midpoint of the line. Roughly speaking, that's going to be about here. But the method you use to find the midpoint uh, is not about drawing and measuring or anything like that. We just use the coordinates. We can do a calculation based on these coordinates which will tell us exactly where the midpoint is. Now this method I'm going to show you works for any pair of points anywhere at all on a set of axes like this. So it doesn't matter, they don't need to be in these particular places. This one's fairly easily, you can probably see what the midpoint is already. But the point is that the method I'm going to show you will work for anything. Now, if we look at the x coordinates for these two points, so we've got one for this one down here, and the x coordinate at this point is five. Now, the midpoint of two points, the x coordinate of that midpoint is the number that's halfway between the x coordinates of the two points on the either end. So it's the midpoint, the x coordinate here, is going to be halfway between one and five. Now, to cut a long story short, to find the number that's halfway between these two, you want the average of these two x-coordinates. So the x-coordinate, if we do this first, of our midpoint is going to be the average of the x-coordinates of the points on either end of the line. So remember when you're finding averages, if you've got two points here, we add them together and divide by two. So in this case it's going to be 1 plus 5. Yep the x-coordinate of that plus the x-coordinate of that and then we divide the answer by 2 so in this case 1 plus 5 gives you 6 divide that by 2 you get 3 so the x-coordinate of our midpoint the x-coordinate of this point here is going to be 3 and you can see yep yeah, it's 3 now we want the y-coordinate and it's exactly the same to find the, the y-coordinate of the midpoint the y-coordinate here it's the average of the two y-coordinates of the points on either end. Yeah, it's going to be halfway between the y-coordinate here and the y-coordinate here. And that's always going to be the average of those two points. So you add these two numbers together, your two y-coordinates, 2 plus 4, and then we divide by 2. Yeah, add up the two points and divide them by 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. Divide that by 2. Again, you get 3. So the coordinates of our midpoint are 3 comma 3. So just quickly to summarize, in order to find the midpoint, if you've been given a line, work out the coordinates of either end of the line first, or if you've just been given two coordinates, that's great, it's easy that way. Effectively you find the average x coordinate and the average y coordinate. You have the average of these two points and the average of those two coordinates, and those gives you the x and the y coordinates of your midpoint. 